Hey, I'm Dukes on Twitch. If you want to support the channel and greensunsinit.com, you can find my Patreon, merch store, and single store where you can buy singles through TCG Player or Card Hoarder in the video description. If you want to get in contact, you can also find all that info in the description below for things like donation deck lists or just wanting to reach out. All right, let's get right into it. Hey team, uh, welcome back to Dukes on Twitch. Back today with a special co-host, and long overdue, uh, Mark Strassman, aka Strass Daddy. Hey, Mark, how are you going? I'm doing amazing. It's great to be here with you. I'm uh, I'm excited to play this list. Yeah, it should be really fun. We uh, had a pretty good discussion pre-stream about just changing a few things because um, I've yeah been really enjoying seeing some of the cards pop up on your stream and what you've been playing in Punishing Mav. Uh, your build is a little bit different with. Urza Saga, which you've been really enjoying. Um, but we kind of came to a, a bit of a compromise with how this list looks, which is nice. And yeah, I think definitely a nice uh, mix of sort of keeping in the game against combo decks, but also just having a really good fair game. And I, Yeah, and I gotta say, I, I think that you've been uh, very accommodating to the, the changes that I wanted to make. I didn't want to dominate things. I really, not only do I very much like you and I'm a guest here, but I really do respect your opinion on things, and uh, I'm I'm planning on having fun and learning a lot. And uh, I gotta say though, you rolled up to the convention center with Grove and Punishing Fire in your deck, and you have your Vegemite sandwich in your backpack. All right, and you're still trying to beat the combo decks. Okay, man. <laughs> yeah, that's yep. I guess so. I get, and I, I think maybe you're right though, because uh, you know, we, we, this is MTGO, especially that's the room we're in. We're not in the in the death and taxes, uh, uh, control deck room. So, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I think that's one of the, the way, greatest the things about Mav is that there aren't really two lists that are completely the same. A lot of it is around metagaming or maybe a, a pet card that people like or trying out different colors. Um, so yeah, I think it's part of being like a Maverick player is being open to change and being open to ideas. So it's always really nice to, to talk with another player and be like, hey, what's working for you? What have you found being like good matchups? How do you board? What sort of like bullets are you playing in your Green Suns package? Especially as the deck moves towards a lot of four ofs. Like in this deck, you can see there's four Endurance, four Knight, which does take up a lot of slots away from Green Suns, but at the same time, are just really powerful cards right now. Exactly. And I think uh, this list with the main deck, four drops, you know, it's like, what a risk. You know, you, you know the, the deck has, uh, what, what is that, nine three drops and two four drops. But at the same time, I think it's, you know, what, what are you doing if you're not playing the stick at four drop that just got printed that's like $100 online? Mm. So gotta yeah. do it exactly uh tell me about this card i think this is one that stands out <laughs> yeah the uh the guild mage huh that one yeah. yeah um so this has been one that i've been playing for on and off for a while and uh i remember talking to uh harry hackett at the convention center about this card and, and i played it in the main deck recently again so, so I remember trying, like, you know, I remember trying to get, like, too cute with um, Basilisk Collar and, like, wondering if I could, like, <laughs> have, like, another cool Saga search target. And uh, this card just always kind of came up short. And Harry played it in the board and said the card was possibly better than Fiery Justice, which was, like, hard for me to believe. But you yeah. got to trust the guy. Yeah, he's he's crushing it. If you don't know him, Harry one two three two, big shout out there. Nice, very cool. Uh, I guess you can green suns for it, which is nice. Yeah, and yesterday it was pretty good. I I, I got it against goblins, and um, I think I put, killed like two creatures with it and blocked so in a way three creatures with it, and um, who knows how they were playing around it. So nice, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it's uh, uh, I got a nice to what I played it. They were like nice. They wrote nice. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea it existed. I'll be honest. Yeah, it's just um, I can't say I was the first to do it, but you know, as somebody who, uh, especially years ago, I used to just um, always look at the deck lists and whenever something was Naya. Might have even been like Nate Strom or Merritt or somebody else who first ran this card that I noticed. And it was just always kind of been in the back of my mind. Nice. <laughs> uh, I guess the only other thing is just like, yeah, we're running 22 lands. We have uh, six mana dorks, which is nice. Three Hierarchs, one ignoble Hierarch and two birds. So... Um, it's really nice to have three different ways to get red mana. And also the slight advantage here is that none of these actually share a creature type, which is really cool. So Plague Engineer isn't going to deal with, say, all three if one of each is on board. Uh, and then the once is just to kind of shore that up, which is pretty nice. Um, Safekeepers, kind of like a card that I've been playing around with. It's nice because it takes... Uh, it gives you more slots if you're trying to run Mother of Runes, because usually you run Mother's a three or four of. Uh, it's virtually five copies because you have Green Sun Zenith. Um, it's mainly there to protect Oof against Ottawara in eight cast, uh, or if you're playing Teague, something like, you know, Caracas against the, the blue white X decks. Um, and then it can make combat math a little bit difficult for your opponent with Knight of the Reliquary in pet play, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, still like, Definitely in the testing phase, I wouldn't say it's like a, a, a stock option, but I've been pretty happy with it. Players don't expect it either, and I think that's the best part, especially when they're holding up like, you know, something to do in combat, it's like Sword to Knight, and your Green Sun's for one, they're like, oh, he's going for Exalted. It's like, no, I'm going for Safekeeper. Yeah, there, there's a lot of really cool things with that card, and I, I think it's gone in and out. I certainly think um, the uh, Depths deck put that card on the map uh much more but mm. yeah there's um the surprise factor but also the way you have your deck sorted and don't change it but i think there are something like six two drops so in a way i think eli might have mentioned something uh shout out to uh goblin lackey um but uh the two drops in the format are really lacking and I think, if nothing else, that's part of the reason why I'm so reluctant to let go of Sylvan Library, because, you know, like, what, what other two-drop, you know, you even took out Ooze, and I don't blame you, but, you know. Yeah, yeah very like true. That. There is one two-drop that I'm very keen to try, especially in Punishing Mav when it comes out, which is... Mm -hmm. I'll find it. I'll find it very quickly. Uh, the two drop from Warhammer, which I actually just ordered in paper off MTG Mate, which I'm very happy to get. I believe it's called. I'm gonna pick that up. Morlock. There it is. This card. Yeah. Um, especially when you're playing against DNT and you go turn one Hierarch and they go turn one Mum and then you untap with the play of turn two Green Suns, like to have an out to Mother of Runes. It's really, really powerful. It's that, and I also think with four endurances in the deck, perhaps it'll be pretty solid against the creatures that they play, mm. um, and especially taxes. Um, yeah. So yeah, I've I've wanted Flame Tongue Kavu on a green as a green sun Zenith target. You jerk, Scott Grist. Um, you have Dan, <laughs> folks. I didn't get that. I got Clothis, which is kind of outclassed at this point. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, we should get into it. Very keen to play this. Yeah, we should. Legacy League gameplay. Was uh, Punishing Mav your first Legacy deck? So, I hate to admit it, Burn was. Nice. Uh, I think the first event that I did pretty well, like... I got a top eight, um, and I remember playing against like black border dual lands like underground sea, and uh, just lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, <laughs> and uh, nice. yeah, I remember at the end I went like good game, and this like one guy went like 
not really. Uh, <laughs> yes. And then also, I remember someone trying to convince me that I was dead with tendrils of agony. And I was like, what, what do you mean? Like, what are you, what is this? And I think that people who don't really know the format probably reanimates the way to go, but it used to be burn. Interesting. Oh, yo, Jarvis, right? Jarvis. Okay. All nice. right. Say uh, B-L-D-H-F. No, don't say that. <laughs> uh, pretty nice hand. Like, from a removal standpoint, mana is pretty good. I like it. Yeah. Uh, no way we pitch it. A um, mm. little bit anemic, but uh, yeah. Uh-oh. Mm. Elves? I'm going to say Depths. He's been playing a little bit of Nia Depths online. Yeah, that Caracas in that Wasteland, though. Yeah, exactly. And, like, the Mana Accelerant. Uh-huh. Um, the only place we get got is if they go, like, turn one uh, Reclaimer, and we go turn one Removal Spell, and they Wasteland us. Like, I'd love to draw into another... Oh, it is going to be Elves. Yeah, what did they search uh, with the what? Oh. So I think Bayou gives away that they're going to be elves over something like Depths. Um, you know better than me. I think if it's elves, well, yeah, but they fetched a black. Elves wouldn't fetch a black. Hmm. Uh, yeah, because they don't typically play Snuff Out in the main deck. It, uh, it could be I like a... When in doubt, when in doubt, ramp. Yeah, I like that a lot. And I think against elves, it's really important to keep your removals for the, the specific cards, like Wywood or Shepherd or Reclaimer. Um, but this hand is obviously quite good. Oh, this is going to be Yorgmoth. Okay. Dick move, Jarvis. Um, I, I don't even know what these cards do, man. Undying. Yeah, so Young I, Wolf uh, comes back. I, um, Plague Engineers on Bird, which isn't too bad. I don't mind getting aggressive on removal, like Wasteland on Cradle, and then Swords on Dried Arbor. Expect it? Yeah. Um... Yeah, also, uh... Yeah, go with your gut, man. I, uh, I, I don't think I have any better lines there. You know, it's like, like, prismatic ending instead on the weird-ass wolf card that I don't even know why it's there, but it's in a, in a deck, <laughs> so it must be good. Yeah, you know? so I, I believe it plays well with Yogmoth, which is, uh, I think you sacrifice a creature and draw a card. I just have no clue, man. These are the matches that I get I get wrecked, man. I just if I don't understand how the deck works and I'm playing like a reactive deck. But uh, I like your line, man. I respect your gangster. Okay. Uh, uh, kill the shitty wolf. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just get rid of them. <laughs> there is a world where I keep the uh prismatic for um another uh, mana dork because we have such good creatures next turn to block the wolf. That oh, with your gut, man. I hate to say it, I'm I'm kind of useless here. I'm I'm scared. You no, know, that's fair. This is actually the first time that I played against this deck in Legacy. If he played a Lion's Eye Diamond, I would not be surprised. Like I have no idea what's going on. Ooh, I just um, I think here I'm just like holding up the endurance for the young wolf. Me too. It just will come to, back. Don't, but... don't be suspicious, though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> do do your do your best impression of a person who doesn't have that card. <gasps> wow, they play around the endurance. You you did you didn't you didn't do it right. You weren't casual enough. <laughs> I'm still pretty happy to cast it and just use my mana effectively. Yeah, and I think random app into waste a row, right? Yep. 
exactly. Probably taking out the Bayou just because it's a black source as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm for it. Um. Please die. Definitely a tough one for them, like being able to really go after their mana effectively without them having a fast clock on board is pretty tough for them. Yeah, this is hype as shit. Yeah, you definitely waste. I don't know, man. Hit the Plague Engineer and then get in that. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, we have to win the game at a certain point. I definitely don't mind that. Like, does this deck just, like, explosively kill you out of nowhere? Like, do you just, like, have a normal game and then they're like... GG, I believe it... That... <laughs> Not to be a smartass, but I believe it needs mana to go off. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, like I said, if, if... I just have no idea. Like I said, if... Uh, if, if the dude just played a... Uh, if... If the storm count went to 10 and you lost, I'd be like, ah, okay. Um, I think you get, uh... Knight? Do, do they have any graveyard stuff in the deck that you need to worry about? I don't think so. Uh, I'm reading chat here. Once the wolf has counters, it's useless on an empty board. Thank you, uh, our depths friend. Good to see you. Yeah, I think you just get, I mean, you know, for all I know, oof is good. I'm going to stop acting like I don't know what I'm doing, even though I don't know what I'm doing. No, all good. I believe there was a uh, recent version of... I'm going to quickly have a look because I believe someone played it recently. Um, so if we look for Yog, I always forget his name though. There. Um, so this is the, the main card. Four mana legendary. Yeah. So protection from humans, which is pretty big. <laughs> Pay a life, sacrifice another creature, put a <laughs> Neguan Neguan counter on up to one target creature, draw a card, and then you can proliferate. I believe, maybe it's not in here, but I swear there was a legacy deck recently. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't know, man. Fucking playing. Um, but it is a pretty fair deck. So I, I think is it's it? kind of the case okay, so. of like, oof. Okay. Um, love the justice. Are I'm they not... gonna attack you with, is it a graveyard deck? Yeah, I guess with the Undying Creatures it, it is. So, like, Surgical is definitely interesting. Like, it plays Young Wolf. I believe it will play Scavenging Ooze as well. Um, like, potentially shit, Liberator man. and potentially Safekeeper. We did see the Plague Engineer, so that's interesting. Oh, nice. Okay. Thank you very much, chat. Evil Green. And a big thing at Evil Green for the uh, new sub. All right. So the deck plays things like Grist and then a bunch of big creatures along with Mana Dorks. I believe what it wants to do is use Yorgmoth uh, with cards like Strangleroot Geist and I guess Young Wolf to start drawing cards. And there is a combo in here because I think you can... Someone will be able to do this in chat better, but I believe you can use Jarell's Messenger to kill them with like the Undying Trigger on the stack. Look, hopefully, hopefully we see what happens. Yeah. But nah, um, hopefully not, man. <laughs> 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 hopefully, it just fades into the abyss. I don't know, man. Uh, maybe ditch the Safekeeper uh, or something. Yeah, I don't mind that. Uh, just, just yeah. like having the Surgicals as a as a maybe. But. Yeah. Seems pretty nice if we can get some early, uh, early yeah, disruption. Kudos, the kudos to Jarvis, but you know, I just that's not somebody you, uh, you, you cut a break, you know, they're, mm. they're very good at the game. 
Um, a little bit light on removal. We do have the ones to find a land. Yeah, what up? Yep. Good to see you, Brennan. Hey, Master BM. I think I'd be happy to mulligan to at least one removal spell. But it's tough to put this yeah. back. It is. It, it functions. Mm. Uh, I, it, does it stop the combo? I guess Knight Caracas sort of stops the combo. Yeah, very true. Uh, or even uh, getting the Guild Mage into play off of Green Suns. I oh, man. Uh, uh, they mold the six. Okay, we're keeping this. All right. Yeah, I think Evil Green has a great point of just play against it like a kind of mid-range deck. Yeah. We're just going to draw a plow anyway. Ooh. Ah, there, 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 there it is. All right, we need tap to add. So, like, this is interesting as well because we do have Wasteland and then Punishing Fire to go after their mana again, but I think this is a case probably of just going for Tega Bird into Punishing Fire next turn. And make sure we don't do, kind of... Do they run removal? I'm going to go click that list. Uh, how's our clock looking? 19 minutes. Not too uh, bad. I hate, hate to do it to Jarvis. I'm going to take a look here. Yeah. Uh, three ass trophies. Uh, two diabolic intent. Oh, that's not a kill spell. Mm. Ball therapy. I don't think you're gonna get wasteland dead 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 so i think i think <laughs> Sorry. you're okay with yeah well yeah. okay all right just because but... knight does get wasteland okay. but i can definitely see the reasoning to go for um that holding up three mana is interesting i think now i'm happy to wasteland and then see what they do yeah i like that Probably going after red, but black's definitely interesting. Uh, agents uh -huh. fine. Well, we do have those zeniths. I, th I think you gotta kill. I think we just kill the agent now, just in case they take us off something here. Well, the only thing I would say to that is, okay, yeah, because if they if they kill the dork, you're in big trubs next mm. turn. I feel you. All right, yeah. Tough call. I think that's actually going to be an important choice right there. Yeah, like, the big thing that I'm thinking about is, like, uh, land assassin's trophy, your creature. You can't search, I get to search. Yeah. But. Uh -huh. That's, yeah, okay. Agents definitely got me a few good. times out of, uh, like, Doomsday sideboards. Yeah, what a card, man. I remember playing Aven Mind Sensor when that card came out, and just kind of being like, all right, like, even mind sensor stops them, and it doesn't always stop them. She. Mm. <laughs> um. Still pretty happy to go after this. And then next time we even have Minsk. I guess Minsk can trade Boo with this, which is pretty interesting. So like this turn, return punishing fire, take out the reclaimer to turn off the cradle a little bit. Next turn, play Minsk, get Boo. And then just fling potentially the boo at Ignoble Hierarch after attacking. That is reasonable. There's it's also reasonable to hit the Matador because they just what did they once upon a time for? Uh, I believe they got the, oh, they got the, the cradle. The cradle. Yeah, actually, yeah. I, out, man. I think that's a pretty good line. Oh, endurance. Okay. okay. You, you can still land the night here. Yeah. I think you're in good shape. Just play uh, Big Mama. Big Mama. <laughs> yeah. I think you're going to be okay. Hmm. They're down to one card as well, which is tough for them. What did they pitch? Uh, they pitched a Scavenging Ooze. Ooze is kind of cool in this deck because it allows you to play around Surgical by just eating your own creature in like response to the uh, trigger of Undying. 
All right. Yo, he's kind of scaring the shit out of me by, like, taking so long. Yeah, I wonder if he wants to cast a creature or just hold up Reclaimer to play around Wasteland a little bit. Good point. I feel like, since I just don't know what's going on, he's doing math. Or maybe <laughs> so Yogg. Probably, you're, you're probably right. It could be Yogg off the top. But luckily we can still cast Minsk and also get Caracas, which is pretty huge. Yeah. Yeah, really tough spot for them. Like, the Endurance is obviously a card you really want to have, and, like, the, sco the Screws is also really nice with the Punishing Fire. Oh, maybe Green Suns for three. Okay. Grist. Nice. I don't, I don't like that. But I think Hamster is going to be bueno. Yeah. I wonder what they drop. Two. Oh, wow. Okay. Yo. You know what to do. <laughs> you know what to do. I've seen your stream before. <laughs> no! Oh! Uh. That oh, well, you know, thinking, attack okay. the grist and then, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, <laughs> I loved your, no! <laughs> uh, yeah, that was definitely a misplay. I should have just attacked and then thrown. Which puts him down to one card. Yeah, but I think we're good. Especially with that draw. Um, yeah. We're good. Drawing four cards might be better than that. So. Ooh. How do you feel about drawing four cards? Yeah, uh, I, I guess attacking with Boo first and then... Yeah. And then we still get to keep the uh, the Minsk, which is crazy. Well, they probably have Arbor, so make sure you play something that can block. Yeah, I think the best case would be uh, getting a Wasteland, playing Ram it up, and then playing Wasteland. Yeah. Do you throw it then or throw it the... Uh, I'm going to throw it the High Rock. Yeah, throw it the High Rock, man. Also turning off the Cradle is pretty nice. Oof. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah, fetch that arbor. Fetch it. Yeah! All the love to Jarvis. Yeah. Great player. Playing a weird deck. It's I think it just shows that, like, how, how well punishing Mav lines up against another creature deck. Yeah. 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 Really tough. But yeah. Good showing for the deck. Prop Prop to them too though. Like like Jarvis is competitive as shit and really good at magic. And he's like, hey, I'll play this silly deck. Yeah, it's cool to see it's cool to see more modern decks porting over to Legacy. Like I know Crusherbot uh online has been dominating with Legacy Hammer, which is cool to see. Oh. Yeah, did you get a trophy with that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. with our had spider space online, which is cool. Modern streamer yeah. who plays some legacy, but really cool to Love see. Love to see it. Uh, hey, rainy day. This is a question for you, Mark. Uh, how does non-blue mid range beat combo in this format? I think you pick one or two combo decks to beat, and then you fold to the rest. That's my thing. So playing mm -hmm. for endurance means you have a shot against reanimate and, and dredge and lands, if you'll call that a combo deck. Uh, but I, I don't think you could beat all the combo decks. I think you, you choose one to die to. For me, that's Storm, but not for the homie here. He likes having uh, some... <laughs> yeah, some I think... Uh, that. Like, Mindbreak Trap is quite nice against combo. Surgical... Um, your free spells, and then for like one mana, like 
playing the blast effects is really strong at maybe not winning the game, but at least disrupting them. Uh, and then also deafening silence is, is very good as just a one mana way to slow down the game. Um, and then you have like hate bears, like collector oof is quite good against any sort of Lotus petal led decks. Hey Jarvis, too kind for the raid. <sighs> Turns out, you, Jarvis. Uh, really cool to see Yog. We're just talking about how it's nice to see more modern decks in, um, in Legacy. But like, I think yeah, the Punishing Mav just lines up really well against other creature decks. So pretty tough. But I hope you had uh, a good time. It's really cool to see that deck uh, getting played in Legacy. Yeah, like uh, going after your mana and then you just like I think missing like land drops for like six turns in in game one doesn't help. So. Yeah, I think it was like uh, a good mix of you missing out on things and then also us just hitting land drops and being able to remove. Yeah. I think that game too with the boo though, that was... Yeah, know, we should... We were already in a good situation, but we... Yeah. Yeah, Mark and I were saying we should have attacked the Grist and then just flung the boo at the uh, Mana Dork when we had the chance. We're up against a Yurion deck. If this is D and T, it's not the worst hand, but yeah, man. I think uh, the wastelands aren't so good, but I, I, yeah, I don't think you could pitch that. Mm. I think you, uh, you ramp, and then you know, we'll see. I, I Ooh. think this is gonna. Ooh. Yeah, all good. Uh, we'll see, the here's the thing: you're, you're a pro. It's second main phase. You play your lands anyway. <laughs> I uh the only small thing here is that we don't ramp into a white source, which is tough. So next time we can't like sword and waste. That is true. But chances are against taxes it would have to be Caracas only. Oh okay. I think that the nice thing here at least is that this is a uh a blue white deck starting on a tundra. So being able to wasteland here isn't typically something that happens. No, it is not. That is beautiful. They chose to shuffle. Okay. Um, I don't mind just ramping here and saving the uh the liberator. Yeah, I'm for that. It's tempting to curve out, but I think your play is better. Yeah, it's true. Because if they um, though. The only thing that I would not want to see is if this is Bant and see like Swords on Liberator untap library potentially. But having the extra yeah. threat in play is quite nice. Just try Ooh. to draw so real quick. I think for us, this is a pretty fantastic target. Oh, okay. Well, now we've got the prismatic ending. Um, so this is tough because the, the ending is more mana efficient, but the Liberator is more specific at dealing with abundant growth. I think we're the beatdown deck. Play Liberator and uh, ending and Wasteland. Mm. Hot, well, uh, maybe not Wasteland. Maybe Caracas is better to hold up the plow. Well, never mind. Magic the Gathering. <laughs> I, did, I did this way in case they like force aggressively and then we can just pop this anyway I see yeah define blue okay wow well, <laughs> I like it. Uh, yeah pretty happy just to jam we don't have to worry about ice fang which is nice because they only have two snow covered so we can probably just hold up the Caracas here or we could uh, we could attack with the dried arbor It's probably going to hit a forest though, man. But... Mm. It kind of has to. Like, if they try to Ice Fang into a blue card here. Oof. <laughs> Alright. Don't mind if I do. I think you mean, don't mind if I boo. <laughs> 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 Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Hey, oh, watch out now. Yeah, 
Oh, good to see you, Cavalish. Guru is going to be fine. I think so. Especially if they miss a land drop here. Yeah, like that's just brutal. Like, really, really nice to be able to grab that one. Brutilitarian. Um, so I'm just quickly uh, going to put the carpets and the blasts over here. I think they're like kind of the, the six easy ones. Yeah. I... Okay, so is this going to be the Omnath deck? Uh, it definitely could be. So I'm going to say at least it's going to be Bant Snow with Yurion. I think we could trim on the dorks a little bit. Yeah. Just because I don't think they run lace. Yeah, I, I assume because we're bringing in the blast effects, we might just cut two nobles and then keep in the three uh, mana dorks that create red. That's fair. Yeah, Guild Mage probably isn't. Well, Guild Mage kills the Coatl. Yeah, it also, it also kills uh, like Teferi tick down to one. Also, if they're on Boo. That's true. I think collect oof uh, is an easy cut. Yeah, for sure. Good point. Um, against control, I like to trim Dork Arena. Oh, not Dork Arena. It's Plow. Yeah, but this maybe. Is how control is it? Hey Harry, a uh, a big Yo, congratulations Harry. on your recent success with Mav. Very cool to hear. We're representing you, buddy. We got the uh, Guild Mage here. Uh, dang. What are your thoughts? Let's Seeing that they're playing another basics, mana dork. another mana dork. I think we could because we're bringing in carpet. Okay. Yeah. Um. Probably just a bird because at least ignoble attacks. My only other thought is fiery justice, just because of the reach. Yeah. Shit. Like potential. Get her like on in there. Seeing how many basics they have, potentially we could just go down to three knights. Okay. Knight just being a bit Don't of a, a beater that. in this matchup. Yeah. This seems pretty solid. Yeah, and I like, like two puns. I do. If I had a third, I'd probably trim the two, maybe. Okay. Maybe I'd keep the third and trim the plow, but all depends. I, I, I To be honest, I don't know what I'm going to see. Mm. Here, they could they could green sun in the night, and I'm like, ah, fuck. <laughs> Very true. Uh, nice. A little bit awkward with the dried arbor, but otherwise, pretty nice hand. Yeah, I'd say just rough if they uh, prismatic ending our own carpet. That's true. I think chances are though they. I'd say what really is rough if they go like forest into the stupid card. Abundant growth. Yeah, but I think we're still fine. I think well, you know, I don't, there's no way we put this back. Ooh. Um, I think you got to play the carpet, man. Hmm. Probably just off a Savannah. That allows us to prismatic ending potentially next turn. Yeah, it's it's awkward. I just they run eighty cards, so mm. they they have to have it. Wouldn't it be cool if they fetched and brainstormed in response? We can only we can only hope. Yeah. Fucking arbor. <laughs> yeah, it's like the progenitus of Maverick. Yeah. Just not as powerful. Yeah, not as powerful, and, you know, it does. There are times where you're like, fine, that card. Uh, so they are playing red, so I think we can definitely expect uh, Minsk. Sweet. Ranger. Okay. Um, not the best draw, but... Yeah, I guess we just play out our hand in Dried Arbor, Granger off the carpet, and also uh, Prismatic Ending this. Sure. I mean, I, I kind of hate the ending, but I don't think you have many better targets. Hmm. You know better than me here. Um, cause... Hey, Jerry. Yeah, the only reason that I like double spell 
is that it makes it a little bit awkward to play out a Teferi and bounce something. Yeah. Get that. They're reading. I respect that. But it is tough because I believe this draws a card, so. It does, yeah. You're you're definitely going back in, in CA here, but, you know, I don't know. You're going to plow your Granger Guildmage. Oh, that's actually uh, a great okay. reason to play this first. For some reason, I just thought they couldn't tap this, but. Makes a lot of sense. That was just really terrible sequencing, so I apologize, Mark, and to chat. I, you know, <laughs> I think uh, you got to go on an apology tour at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I've never misplayed in my life. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough one, man. I, I, I didn't see it. Uh, I like um, this. Yeah, typically this isn't a deck that Wasteland is great against, but by going after their mana and top decking like a um a Wasteland would be really strong. Another green sounds okay. Um I don't mind just trying to get birds into play. Why not? Big Mama just gonna get plowed. Oh, nice, yeah. Um, I guess if they're playing Snapcaster, we could also Endurance them right now. Big Mama's pretty good, though. So? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not going to attack. I don't really want to trade this with an Ice Fang. I'd rather keep it around. I smell the coaddle too. Red mana. Red mana. <laughs> One more time, red mana. Ah. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Snaky snake. <laughs> this was definitely the uh, risk of playing this hand was you really have to draw into that land off the top because dried up is just a pretty terrible one to draw into. So far, so good. If if that stupid pris prismatic ending doesn't happen, I think we're good. Like, mm. you know. Um, and yeah, rainy day. I think it was just uh, what else are we gonna ending kind of thing? One of those like you want to spend your mana or the beat down deck. But I feel you there. It's like kind of sucks to two for one yourself, but their they deck chose is to really shuffle, greedy. which is huge. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh, okay. Is there a line where we could ramen up here and get double wasteland? One, two, three, four mana? No, because we have to use the knight to get to four. Yeah. Um. I'm also, I, I, I think whatever you're doing, God, maybe you, just, just hear me out here before you click green. Is there a world where you click red and we just green sun? Uh, or, because you're going to want a guild mage here. But you also have the fetch land, which is going to help you get red. Yeah. It doesn't matter that much. My thought is uh, create green. We get two. Then we have three mana to play with because I want to use this for uh, Granger. So we can... Green Suns for a Mana Dork, have one left over, which is fine. I guess we could use red there then. Also, just get another knight. Do, do you think they run Terminus or some shit? Potentially. Not I like Terminus. taking them off this red source. Just for, right. for... But at the same time, like, Minsk isn't that big of a deal, because we do have Caracas of the Night now. So... But you definitely, that's the only land you want to hit them off, though. Because you want, you want your carpet. So I think you still hit them off red. I guess the other thought is Supreme Verdict takes double white, so taking them off the Tundra takes them off Supreme Verdict. Hurts your carpet, but maybe you're fine now. Hmm. So many lines here. Uh, just go with your gut, man. I don't want you to time. Let's... I guess going with red allows us to Guildmage the... Or you could fetch and guildmate the thing, but yeah. Uh, okay.
Excavator Wasteland's pretty Excavator. good as well. Oh, I like the Safekeeper, maybe? Is that too risky, or... Yeah. What about Get Arbor? Off the Windswept? Yeah, like, uh... Uh, ooh, uh okay. I was gonna say... Green Sun for Arbor, but maybe that's too greedy. Yeah, I like your line. Yeah, do do you, man? You, you've uh, you've been a spell slinger for a long time. <laughs> no, good because now if they play Minsk, at least you know we take four. Um, but then we have Caracas next turn for the boo anyway, which we can I'm do. Surprise! End of draw step. Nothing eight of four so well, which is pretty wild to me. Mm. Yeah, and like no, f no uh, swords of course either. Yeah. I guess the one reason to keep the Tundra around is because it's quite good with carpet. Yeah. A lot of choices, man. That's looking like an ending, huh? Okay. Hmm. I think I here I like just get in there. Yeah, potentially attacking for two and then using this mana to green suns for a creature like a, a high rock. Uh, I think you. I would get harbor. Okay. Yeah, and ramp. And then yeah, I, th I think we got to close this game out. And also, harbor is going to help you with uh, your your dude. Having a hey, card that says uh, land. Oh, panda. Wow, force. Yeah, okay. that is aggressive. I feel like they're trying... Oh, no, I think if they had um, Supreme Verdict or something like that, they would not allow that. What are we going to fit here? Eight? Eight is pretty good. Like, we could hold up the knight, but... Yeah, like, I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, even if they boo, like, there's not too much there's to There's even, play. like, some are... Well, never mind. I think you might just win the game here, but we'll see. If they turn... I guess if they had Supreme Verdict, you die no matter what. Yeah. It's just weird for them to uh, get rid of the Green Suns for Dried Arbor if they do have Verdict, unless they were specifically wanting to play around... Nice, okay, this is great for us. Um like sack the dried arbor allows to keep a land and also get wasteland at the same time but looks like they missed a land dropped again which is huge hopefully we don't hmm that we do um i guess two. just yeah ping and then attack with both yeah I think you have to, you know. Endurance. Okay. That buys some time, but also, like, there's that Minsk, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're just holding it back. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Um. I. I think you have to pass what I would do. Well, yeah. I, I think, think pass, pass and then draw step bounce boo. And shoot the either player or that. Hmm. Your choice. But guild mage has to... You want to activate guild mage. I 
I think it's them. Put them to six, and then potentially nearly have lethal. This is intense, man. I don't even know what our best draw is here, to be honest. Like, just, just red mana? Yeah, I think just a land. Probably a fetch land, because that puts lethal on the board without having yeah, to sacrifice any lands to save Keeper. Good point. But yeah, definitely tough, like... This is kind of one of the downsides of playing a non-blue deck is that you can just run into the, like, the wrong side of your deck. Mm -hmm. Now we just have a silly planes at this point that like does stop the, <laughs> the evil planeswalker, but yeah. Um, also, I think worth noting, unless they hit a land here that's a snow-covered, the mm. waddle isn't that big a deal. Yeah, they just chose to shuffle as well. I like it. Hey, Dave. Very cool to see you in chat. Hope you're doing well. Big congrats on your top four finish, I'm going to say, with DNT at the Legacy Pit Open 2. Pleasure to watch you. I, play I think I played against them. Uh, red Taxes? Nice. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be game, right? If they try to... I guess they can... No, because they, they can't make mints to block. And if they try to kill something here, we can just sack and give pro. Yeah. What's the line? Uh, oh, they have a land. Okay, so land off off the top. No, land off the top doesn't do it either. Actually, land off the top does it. Yes. There you go. Beautiful. Check no, them. Man. Okay. <laughs> man. Fetch. Fetch. Oh! Oh, no! No! Sorry. Yeah, we did play. Um, yo, wouldn't it be crazy if they had, like, an Uro comeback right here and just... <laughs> they even said GG in chat. No! No! <laughs> I was just like, I saw Dave and I was like talking to you. Uh. Dude, story of my life, man. Then they just said you suck. No, they didn't mm -hmm. do that. <laughs> Yo, just, just concede. I don't have the heart. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, empty geo MTGO sometimes. Geo is hard. Yeah. All right, so they're down to two cards. Oh my god, hold it! Just die. Sack a creature. All right. I guess here we get rid of the Caracas. Oh, they're going to target us. Interesting. They're not even going to go after the... Oh, there we go. Okay. Lucky. Very lucky. Um, yeah. I think... Yeah, if they just somehow turned the fucking game around with Uro, that would have been... <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's so devastating. Thankful. What is Uro? Uro puts them up to four. They have a blocker. I, don't, I actually don't think Uro gets that unless it's like Uro and also like something else, which is nice. I think Supreme Verdict, and yeah. then... It had to be Verdict or something else, because we still... Oh, no, because Dried Arbor's exiled, so we couldn't even fetch for Arbor there. Yeah. Tough one. Drop. Yeah. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll leave the deck list on the field if you want to talk to chat for a little bit. All right, yeah. Legend. 
Yeah, GG's, uh, GG's there. I played, uh, I think you might have been my second loss of that day. Um, and it's a shame because 80 card taxes is kind of a coin flip, but red taxes, um, Magus of the Moon is like a stone rain on a stick on a 2 2 body that may just win the game when you're playing Saga. Like, if, if I don't have basics or punishing fire to deal with it, uh, that might just do it. Where's that song request? Yeah, we're, we're in somebody else's house here. You're, you know, you gotta, gotta take your shoes off when you enter somebody else's house there. But yeah, um, I do like the list. I think six mana dorks with, uh, what is that? Nine three drops and two four drops is reasonable. Um, there really is nothing that you want to do on turn one besides ramp for the most part. Um, the Guild Mage and the Safekeeper are just kind of like, you know, cards that are, I'd say, more or less testing out. Yeah. Oof. Jeez, man. That was a, that was a tight one. Yeah. But hey, Foro, nice start. I think so. I, I think seeing the fetch too, and I have to admit this, it didn't register a, a second color. It's like with all the things going on in a high level event, sometimes like you know things, but you don't know them in the moment. So uh, uh, I played Static Grip. Uh, I think it was probably round four or five of uh, that day. And uh, red taxes, and uh, I've seen the fetch, but I just had no idea. Like, oh, that means Magus. I'm I'm not caught up with the times that way. Yeah, it's a tough one. I've had a few times online where I've played against Reanimator, and although I've seen Underground Sea, I haven't picked up on like post board show and tell, which you just should assume. Little things like that mm -hmm. can definitely count. I've seen um. The smog combo as well. Uh, I think Truman's running that, which is cool. Oh, that's sweet. Um, so I think uh, Dougal has a list that he did well with uh, Yorion. I think it was yeah. a... Uh, this one. Plug, plug that. So this was pretty much Mav with a field of the ruined finish as a way to finish up on that. Um... Yeah, to like add in the extra cards, like it's probably worth going to a Yurion build. So we play like Elvish Reclaimer. Um, still have a pretty nice package of like hateful cards for combo in the main deck. Um, and then the board is just for combo pretty much with a Soul Plague Engineer uh, for any sort of fair deck. It was pretty sweet. Looking at, your, looking at your board, I can see that you were influenced by some of your guests, which is good. <laughs> yeah. Um, you had a lot of really good guests. Um, I'm looking at a uh, XJ Cloud when I look at that. Like, yep. That there whole we go. mindset of like, I'm going to beat the fair decks because yep. and my deck's just... good against that. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't mind this. Yeah, you got to keep that, man. Like, having the reach is really nice. Hopefully, Wasteland is a good card. Ooh, okay. <laughs> GG. Yeah, GG. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh,. <laughs> yeah. Um I don't know, man. Like this is where it's like, oh, we can wasteland them and potentially take them off the mana, but maybe if they're going for it here, they just have the turn one kill. Nah. It's it's good you're gonna die two turns from now. You're don't gonna say wasteland that. here. Uh, um and then you're going to draw two consecutive endurances. Be okay. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a few of us who see Underground Sea and just like start looking at their sideboard. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I didn't even see the Doomsday Ritual. I just, oh yeah, Underground Sea, GG. Hmm. Um, 
Well, hey, this is where we'll see if your mindset is worth it. I run five revs. Um, so I might have a slight edge on what you would normally do. How good is deafening silence? And I think silence uh, is just nice at stopping them from the ritual starts. It also means that they can't protect okay. Thassa's Oracle from blast. Uh, I, like it. I yeah. guess they I guess they can with Cavern of Souls and then having um less than two cards left in their deck. So they can Thassa's Oracle for zero, pretty much. Makes sense. But potentially they don't see the red red splash game one. Yeah. But yeah, very cool yeah, to I see Max. Are... You go. Oh, uh just just I think chances are you're gonna wasteland and then they're going to play a land and then it's going to be a basic and then you're going to do something that doesn't matter and then we'll be in game two. Oh, interesting. I've never seen grief in the deck. It's kind of cool. Wouldn't it be funny if when they revealed their deck, it was a zoo deck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Joke's on you. Um, like once upon a time would be kind of cool here just to find endurance potentially yeah wouldn't it be cool if they scooped alright so also uh, I think you should do the edge of the autumn thing okay well that's what it is I don't think there's a uh, great way to play around that anyway no oh we do get to sh make them shuffle here which is nice That? Yeah, I wouldn't have thought of that. 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 Zero cards left. Um. Okay. So yeah, I think uh, obviously the blasts are really nice, and then it's probably just the deafening silences having a bit more text than other cards in the deck. Um, carpet and surgical might be better than some of the other shit, just yeah. because surgical does shuffle their deck. I know it's like shit, but like everything we have is shit. Hmm. Yeah. I think prismatic ending probably goes. Yeah. Punishing fire. Um, uh, Harry kind of likes pun though, so maybe. Yeah, it's, it's probably not too good. Yeah, it's tough because if they do pretty well, if they if they go if we get an early threat down and then they go for Doomsday, sometimes Punishing Fire can be like lethal. I guess I don't mind keeping in two swords. Shield would see some play, but the main card that I care about is Opposition Agent, which is a, a really big hassle. I feel uh, that. I think Ramanap's probably just a little bit too grindy and slow. I think even Knight might not be that good. Yeah. Um, like Outland Liberator, I'd probably just rather have Oof to turn off pedal effects in LED. Um, maybe like... Jerry, with, the, uh, with all the good suggestions. Um, <laughs> like yeah, I, I, Maybe. I like Silly. Yeah, we can be very aggressive with it, which is really nice. Yeah. I think... Uh, are, are they going to... Are they going to destroy any of your creatures? Maybe Granger isn't worth it? Not Granger, uh, Safekeeper. Yeah, my only thought on Safekeeper is that it could create a massive knight out of nowhere after they Doomsday and turn it from like a three-turn clock into a two-turn. Um, that, okay. that could just be a, a bit of an angle that isn't really realistic. Like, just because something can happen doesn't mean it's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, but that's that's where we are right now, you know. <laughs> My other thought think, is, uh, uh, Safekeeper does keep Oof in play through a bounce spell. Oof is pretty mediocre. Mm. It's worth keeping in, but, but if it was Leovold or something, mm, Leo would be cool. Yeah, I could see just going down on a mana. I, th I think you trim and Granger. I think you trim the knight. I think you'd go to two knight personally. I just don't. I I I just. I've never attacked them and killed them. I've okay. always won on the stack. 
Nice. This is my pick. Yeah, that's like I've I've never I very rarely every time they cast Doomsday, it's like yeah. I think you gotta keep that. Ooh, it kind of sucks, but I, I think you have to keep it. Hmm. Uh, it's really tough to not be able to green suns for Dried Arbor, then like turn to library and potentially wasteland or something. The the really tough thing is is that they're most likely for sh I think they're a hundred percent going to be playing around endurance. But uh, did they see any of our deck that uh, wasn't wasteland? Just wasteland. <laughs> hey, Carador. Uh, hey, Carador, yeah. I wouldn't mind mulliganing towards either Deafening Silence or Py Pyroblast in a six. Go for it, man. Hmm. I, I still don't this mind this. Probably just bottom in the Granger. Even though Granger is a... Hmm. Maybe it's I Punishing Fire. I guess yeah, Punishing Fire is out, out to Opposition Agent right here. We have a pretty high um, chance of drawing a green card as well. Did you snip their sec their sixty? Uh, no. Okay. Opposition agent, I assume, is a sideboard card that you're thinking of. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's surgical or punt here. Hmm. Go with your gut. Surgical is kind of desperate, says so pun. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm just gonna fetch. If you want the green card? Straight away. Probably just get Tega. And then we have all our colors online, which is really nice. The small awkward thing is that endurance is our main threat in hand, but we kind of want to keep it. Shit. I think turn two is going to be a talk. Mm. Like, unless we just draw like Sylvan and Blast or something. Well, Sylvan, really. I think we'd get a talk as well if we draw two cards next turn. From a judge. Yeah, that, that too, that too. <laughs> oh, grief? Uh, oh, okay. good grief. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool if they took pun? Hmm. Uh, I guess you play the Granger. Yeah. Ooh. Man, Granger in a, uh, a Scrib Ranger version? Oof. There we go. Mm -hmm. That's what I, I want. I tried it. Did I, you? I messed up. Yeah. I, I just, I forgot how to run a Scrib Ranger, and I embarrassed myself on my own Twitch channel. But, <laughs> yeah. I've done that before. I've done that yeah. before. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, check this out. This is going to be sweet. Oh, fuck. I think you play the waste. Yeah. Honestly, I'd be inclined to wasteland the fetch land in response to a brainstorm of the other. Hmm. But this is a black lad that's going to be a doomsday here, I think. Don't say it, Mark. Come on now. Sorry. And if it is a doomsday, I wonder if after doomsday resolves, if you just throw a pun at their face. Yep, I like that. Kind of deals four. Is there any reason to punishing fire before they doomsday? Does that deal more damage? At halves? Maybe not. Do some arithmetic there. It might be the same. Hmm. So they would go to 13 and they'd go to 6. Or they would go to 7 and they'd go to 5. So I think it's you wait, right? You lose half your life rounded up. So they go down to... Eight? Seven and then Seven. five. Yep. Or Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, 
What I want you to do is during their turn, even if we draw fucking windswept teeth, try to act like that's not all you have. Hmm. Like, do your, like, like waste 30 seconds of everyone's life to make them think maybe you have something. I do it against Infect all the time. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Like, I'll just, like, you know, try to act like I have something when I don't. Man, I remember I used to do that with uh, Blue Red Delva. If I keep a, a one lander with Pondo and there's no land on top, I would shuffle and say, man, what do I do for a threat? <laughs> As if I have land in hand, I'm looking for a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Type it, literally. That's great. Yeah. One threat, one time. I guess, like, we're just looking for Endurance and Pyroblast. Or wait, if they take two, they go to five. Then we attack for two, they go to three. Draw Bolt. That's what we need. Yeah, like, there's a world where another Punishing Fire is okay because it maybe turns off a fetch land if we Wasteland. But I assume they have their mana caught up in Petals. Like, maybe, like, Oof off the top is not too bad off of Green Suns. Yeah, see that. I like to always open this up post Doomsday to act like I know what they've what the pile is. <laughs> but mm, yes, ah, oh, this version. Mm. Um, no edge of bottom, which yeah, three forces, one I... pedal. Did they keep street race? They, I see one there. Uh, I only see one as well. How many do they run? Two or three? Typically, yeah. Like, I would say they wouldn't run any more than uh, two Night Edge of Autumn. Okay. I mean, you got a pun here. Yeah. Nice. Um, Wasteland. Take this turn slowly. Wait approximately 8.2 seconds. 6, uh, 7, 8.2. Yeah. I guess the Wooded Foothills is Dried Arbor, which allows us next turn to attack for two and then deal the last with Guild Mage. You have to play it. If we get a turn. Yeah. Big if. Pause in their upkeep. No, because they know this card as well. Tap. Tap. Oh, they don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Strix. Okay. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. Yeah, I was like, Ooh. uh, get armor. Come on, deck. What's on top of the deck? It's Lightning Helix. Oh, this is actually quite nice. It kind of makes them have to fetch. So if we ping this attack for two, turns off the fetch land. Unless they just kept the fetch in hand. Like, it's really our only out, unfortunately. Yeah. So close. Yeah, I think... Maybe. Nah! Ooh, <laughs> nah, we're dead. tough look we we tried we tried yeah we tried so hard and got so far yeah doomsday is tough because like other combo decks a lot of the cards cross over but 
Doomsday just has a pretty good time against a lot of the hate that is generally run against combo, which is tough. Like, Deafening Silence isn't the be-all end-all like it is. Pyroblast is fine, but yeah, tricky one. Definitely not a, a yeah. matchup that I would consider like boarding heavily for. Hey, Tom, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we just finished round three, heading into game four. Jarvis was on a blue-black Yorgmoth deck. Sorry, green-black. Green black Yogmoth with like uh, young wolves and grist, other things. Magic the Gathering. That's the name of the game. That's what we're playing tonight, right? All right. On the play, which is nice, with a pretty sweet hand. Gotta get that tiger. By the way, yo, Tom. It's always nice to see Tom. I hope yeah. guitar and your puppy is, or your dog is, is doing well. The granddaddy of rock and roll. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the same words. Ugh. Yeah. Blue Delta is usually oh, okay. Nice. Um, I. My only reason to my only reason to fetch here is that it creates a four four knight, which can't be bolted. Yeah, let's do that. I think that, like, if they oh, have, wait, like, you know... Four or four when you die to Tendrils of Agony. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that resolved pretty quick. Which is never a good sign. <laughs> yeah, Tom could probably pick up whatever he wants. <gasps> Double Underground C, pedal, oh no. Yeah, there you go. Not again. Ugh. They even have the online art. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, Tom, I think you'd really like Mav. Actually, next weekend, I'm playing in a uh, Heritage Legacy tournament with Mason Clark and Anzi, who are running it, which is uh, Legacy without supplement sets, which is kind of cool. And I reckon I'm going to run the version of Turbo Depths that you played before for during Minskin Boot, the black green version. I was thinking you're playing slow depths, but I think uh Turbo Depth seems pretty sweet. I think I have a, a list. It's called No BS. Mm. No BS Turbo Depths. Which is pretty nice. Like you do get um Beseju, which is kind of cool. Do you uh, have like some BS turbo depths? Yeah, you know, just a little BS. Yeah, but like the I think Turbo is pretty cool in a non-supplement format. Like no prismatic ending, no, just good stuff. The hardest part is uh trying to replace, um, Force of Vigor. Let's go Turbo. Hey, yeah, sure. definitely will turn. Uh, I love this style of deck over Naya Depths, but I think for like a. a competitive tournament i feel a little bit safer with nia depths of having like that plan a of just go for the 2020 and then if you need to pivot a little bit you can with things like crop rotation or endurance and then mav takes a little bit more time to set up things and play a bit more proactively of like what's your opponent going to do next turn what can i do this turn to stop that but i like punishing maverick yeah if you mark strassman just run punishing and just crush it no matter what just dig through time play it you know, Treasure Cruise, play Punishing Maverick. <laughs> Four Terminus, one mana Wrath of God, it's a speeder in the format, play Pun Mav. Um, so what do you think is the coolest way to die here? Is it trying to deny the mana? That's That's or... a tough one, because there's like the reverse psychology of they're definitely playing around at least one Wasteland. Um, oh, we're so close to just being able to kill them with Punishing Fire. Like, if they have a Street Wraith, that's seven. This is five. That's lethal. One Street Wraith. One Street Wraith. Okay, so they kept as one Edge of Autumn. Interesting. So, yeah, I don't think you can do the... Do the Waste Arrow. 
Yeah, like, what do you think of just attack? Um, we also I we also have ah uh, we have swords to I deal with. You, you yeah, go. Sorry. I think Sorry. you attack, you attack, and then because they have an edge, they have edge of autumn in hand right now. Hmm. There's like no doubt about that. So they know knight does waste the land things. This is a good player. They just don't know about pun. Playing Grove might have been better. But then again, maybe that hints something. Hmm. Nah, actually, I think it's the same. I think you're right. Only way that makes a difference is if... Uh... There she is. Oh, okay. So if they try to go off with more than uh, zero cards in the deck, we have both Punishing Fire and Swords to deal with Thassa's Oracle with the trigger on the stack. Pun won't do it, right? Uh, oh, they go down to zero cards. Okay. They go to I believe. Two. Oh, sorry, they go back to two. And then uh, I think we then swords first, because if they try to street wraith to draw the card, potentially. Yeah, I think we definitely swords first, because there is a world where potentially they try to street wraith their way down to zero. Yeah. Uh, do we just Punishing Fire in response before they draw the card? Yeah, we do. <laughs> yes! Oh, there's no better feeling. Oh, so good. Dude. Nice. Yeah, I, I really love the no. attack there, because I, I think the opponent's definitely thinking about Wasteland. Like, how do I play around Wasteland? Not so much how do I play around dying to some sort of Punishing Fire effect. I got a question. Do we keep the boo? Yeah, that's or the, the thing. Like, a, nice. a hasty threat is really nice. Yeah, DMK, I think you're right. The combo kit, yeah, yeah. That's true. All right, so we have our maybes, our, our musts. Um, the prismatic endings were easy. Two swords. Uh, they're, the... they're not going to fall for pun again, I don't think. Mm. Just, just a consideration. You know, yep. Um, if they are on the same sort of build with something like Ice Fang, then the Guild Mage is still quite nice. I don't mind going down on, on Noble. Even like... I think... Uh, I kind of like the Dorks, man. Okay, yeah, no. Just, just because you... Think... Like, it's a high grid count, and it also just allows us to, like, maybe turn two knight a lot quicker. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think of what to cut. Like, the onces are nice, because they obviously find endurance. Um, like, Ramanap is kind of nice, because you get that double wasteland effect. But at the same time, I think that's just one thing they're going to play around. So I could see Ramanap coming out. And then... Your OTD here. I think on one knight's fine to take out. Hmm. Safekeeper, I think it's. Uh, I feel you on like safekeeper and knight hitting for a million, but like I just. You don't see I it don't being know set if up. That's gonna have. Yeah, I I don't think so, especially on the draw. Maybe mm. you keep the one hero punishing fire. You know. Yeah, I don't mind this. Just nice to still have a lot of threats in the deck. Would be cool to see once upon a time. You know, like we haven't seen that yet. It's a really good movie. Uh, with Brad Pitt. Really loved it. Oh, yeah. I think I've uh, read the book. Um, ooh. This hand's good until you realize it's not good. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm a massive fan of just, like, having a, a hand that actually allows you to cast your spells, and this doesn't do that, so. Yeah, that's the, the, the thing. Pyro, the Pyroblast is a trap here. Yeah, the Pyroblast. Here we go. Look at this. Huh? That's beautiful. Uh, uh, I think we're definitely keeping the the bird, this and this. So that's an, that's an, probably an easy three. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it might be green sun because what does green sun get that is better than night? I mm. don't think it is. Right, like I don't think oof is that good. 
Yeah, okay. I don't mind that. I was going to say oof, but um, they can also play around that pretty easily. Yeah. Nice. And then also yeah. just having the knight is quite nice. Yeah. I... Also having Pyroblast with potentially an endurance is pretty great. Yeah. I think that's the, the droid we're looking for. Um, do we... If... Well, so we want to pile time and then we talk, but... They chose to not shuffle. Oh, okay. Um, I actually like the deafening silence first off. Mm. But once upon a time first, though. Yeah. I think a land here would be nice. Yeah, okay, cool. Savannah's nice because then we can use the windswept teeth to hold up blast, but also be able to use Savannah to go turn one deafening silence, turn two bird. Yeah, good point. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that because we need all three colors here. Just to potentially stop like a Dark Ritual into Doomsday style line. Yeah. I like it. Also nice just to hide the blast off of Winds of Teeth, like. Nothing, huh? But if, if they fetch, yeah, if they fetch, I fetch just to play around like untapped land and then hold up opposition agent. Okay. It could be bounce spell on this as well. I guess we'll find out. I think, I think you get a tiger. Yeah. Like, I, th I think if they try to bounce the deafening silence here, that's worth fighting over. Hmm. Like, to me, that means that they have a ritual start, that they have a ritual in hand. Let's, uh, let's fight over that. I trust your instinct here. Plus, I like spending all of our mana. Yeah. We're going to tap out, play Wasteland next turn. And the best part is, it can't be countered, which is really nice, because of the deafening silence. Can't be countered. Oh, you're Pyroblast, yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's a huge draw. Um, they do run days, so maybe you play Wasteland then night. Yes. I've seen days before, at least. Um, the only thought or... is holding up another blast effect with night. So here's the thing. Let's let's just take a second here because it's combo. Mm. Um, the only reason pyroblast is necessary is if you think they can kill you next turn do you think they could actually put you to do you think they could kill you hmm. if they bounced deafening silence this turn could yes. they kill you next turn yes <laughs> yes i think because they not, went for the borrower that turn that they want to go off the following turn because they know that they they know that the deafening silence is most likely coming down the turn after. Okay, so but if you play knight, which I think you have to, and they bounce deafening silence at the end of your turn, there's nothing you could do. Yes, uh, this is a non-creature. Okay, you know Magic the Gathering. Play, play your play your game here. Oh, no, all good, all good. That's a, a relevant point, yeah. especially if this is just like a, a rule of lore effect. Yeah, I actually don't think I've ever had Deafening Silence in play. Ooh. I think it's worth fighting over. A hundred percent. Especially when they're trying to, like, keep a threat off the board. Yeah, they're going to put a Brazen in the play, I think. No, because we uh, counted okay. it, so go straight to the graveyard. Wow. Oh. oh, this could be Shieldred, but we don't care because we have Caracas. Oh, this is going to go for Doomsday. Okay. They can't play a pedal uh, here. I think, we, I think we win. We play fetch, it's a 4-4. Four, four. We waste ourselves, it's a 6-6. Six, six. Nice. Yeah. Dude, have you played Knight before? What is this? Chaos 
TR. Yo, it's uh, Romario. Hey, Romar. It's on a cool deck. I do not think Don't start. So. Let me see if I can just quickly uh, mute Romar. Let me just... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, I bet I'm in person. He's a cool dude. That's cool. He actually I had a very strong, did... strong beard game at the Legacy Pit Open. Yeah. A little too strong. I was kind of intimidated. But yeah, I seen him get a judge call. I wanted to ask what that was about. Probably from playing degenerate combo decks. That's why they did it. I think the judge was asking him to slow down his turn one wins so there's more time on camera. Yeah. Mm. Okay, could you uh not win the game so quickly? Yeah. Can you just pause a little bit between sequencing? Yeah. I guess at least if they have Chain of Vapor, we get to just replay the night. Yeah, it's worst case, huh? All right, so let's have a little look and see if we can think of anything. I guess if they Chain of Vapor Knight, they're not Chain of Vaporing your Deafening Silence. Hmm. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, die, die, mother effer, die, mother effer, die. Holding up the wasteland as well. Yeah. So good. Ah, uh, so nice to obviously lose to wasteland, but then just get that game back. Nice. We learnt. We learnt. And just like, I think the skill as well from both of us to be able to draw into Minsk there, just really paid dividends for that setup yeah just just hey we're getting our money back mm. and, and maybe add some yo echo tombstay <laughs> uh. yeah, that's a fair one. i'd accept that i try to picture like certain people like punishing waterfalls or uh you know like the people like who play wheels, like you give them a deck like like Punishing Maverick. It's like you have to play fair. It's like putting them in the penalty box in hockey is what it feels like. like <laughs> one spell per turn. You have to play a three drop that doesn't win the game. You know. They're gonna ban Birds of Paradise. Have you played much around with Just uh like Torpor Orb effects in the board? Like Hushbringer or Torpor Orb itself? I've thought about it. Um, I was about to do it yesterday, and then I seen the Knight of Autumn in my sideboard. Hmm. And I was just like, uh, I know that this is like not going to come up, but it's definitely going to come up against taxes. Where I'm like looking at an Aether Vial, and I'm looking at my Torpor Orb. <laughs> you know? Or like looking at a Jitte or something, and I have a Torpor Orb in board. Like something stupid. So I was like, do I just play a third, a second Outland Liberator? Just for that one weird situation against taxes. Uh, no idea what they're on. I think on the blind that's a keep, but it is kind of awkward, huh? Yeah, it's tough because like Liberator's very Feast or Famine, and then otherwise it's kind of like just a, a turn three play. I definitely don't mind mulliganing towards like a, a Mana Dork start. Or I start with removal. Like against like Delva, this is a pretty terrible hand. Okay. Nice. Just One lander, on but multiple ways yeah. to get there. Pretty happy to keep this and probably bottom the safekeeper, seeing that we're definitely yeah. not in a position where we're happy to throw away lands. Yeah. So what do you think? Uh, they're going to play a Volcanic Island Ponder. Then you're gonna play your. Oh my gosh! Noble. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh uh, okay. No. Maybe. Oh okay. It's gonna be like a blue black reanimated. No, deck. it's Doomsday. They're playing Grief now. We've seen Grief out of the board. Or no, but they are uh, just exiled and exhum. <laughs> oh yeah. Nah. Jokes on you. Our hand sucks, but now we don't have Plow. Well, blue. Okay, never mind. Blue. You the deck used to be show and tell reanimate. Like mm. it still kind of is, but like years and years ago, it was like a force of will deck. But not anymore. 
I got a good feeling about this. Yeah, interesting. Maybe they have pedal re- uh, ritual. Yeah, re- they, you're dead, dude. You're, this is fucking over. No, thank you. Love the confidence, Mark. <laughs> nah, yeah, we're dead. <laughs> I'm serious. We're, I'm, all the love, man, but we are. Uh, look, we have Once Upon a Time in Endurance is really good top decks. All right. Show me potato salad. There we go, Mark. Oof, so yeah. close. Um, Wait, uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, no point using uh, green suns. Yeah. They did exile and exhume, so I assume they have another th- another way to get a creature back. But yeah, there's some uh, some older versions of Maverick that used to play Brainstorm, which is kind of nice because one of the kind of built-in downsides of the deck is drawing cards that just aren't useful in a matchup, like Swords of Plushers against Tess or Collector Oof against Elves. So it is pretty nice to be able to uh, make use of that uh, and like Brainstorm away useless cards for hopefully other cards. It's tough though because Brainstorm and Thalia don't line up too well and you also open yourself up right now to... Main deck Pyroblast, which is pretty brutal. All right, Mark. Yeah, I agree. I need some, uh, I need some spirit hands you're gonna here. Look, you're going to look pretty smart with your board. I'd say today, whatever shit list I was going to hand you, I think would have been worse. I mean, maybe my list, since it has a fifth Pyroblast, Mm. Might have been a little better against Doomsday, but I think I think three deafening silences are probably better than one pyroblast. So I think uh, going with your sideboard was smart. Hopefully, uh, this is going to be a reasonable card to bring in. So here's the hope, right? They bring in Archon. They go to eight. Right? And then they go to one after they draw seven. Hmm. And then we punishing fire and we high five. <laughs> yeah, I assume it's just Archon here. Yeah. Like gaining the three as well, drawing a card. If they take seven though. I think we'll concede. Such a good card. Really, really nice addition. I played against uh, like Omnitel the other day, and they were playing this as a sneak creature. I think it's reasonable. I think um, Angel of Despair, or rather Ashen Rider, is kind of classed at this point. Um, yeah, I don't think Safekeeper's going to do much for you. Yeah. Um... um Obviously, like the silences, the surgicals, and the blast effects, and I think that's a clear switch. I also don't mind the maze. Okay, so I think we might have different philosophies here. What happens if they animate dead? Can you force a vigor before animate dead? Like, is it like Dance of the Dead or no? Yeah, so I I don't def- I, I definitely don't mind forces either just because they typically do more like i could see double force over the oof and the liberator it's also just more green cards to keep in because we are taking a few green cards out for endurance it's nice to have the extra green cards yeah um Uh, um, maybe four blasts is a lot hmm maybe just three And keep the high rock. Uh, I I probably rather hold the liberator than the extra high rock. Uh, hmm. Like prismatic ending is a pretty easy cut, especially for force of vigor. Um, mm-hmm. punishing fire pretty easy. Minsk not really getting there. Ramen up. The game's just not that grindy. Guild mage doesn't really do anything. Safekeeper doesn't really do anything. And then these two again, I think force of vigor is just better for. But oof's definitely yeah, interesting. Agree. With Deafening Silence, like the play of like Turn on Deafening Silence, they go land Lotus Petal, you go land Oof. Like go the... with your gut here. 
I I think one Liberator may be over one Force of Vigor, maybe, or one Mana Dork. Yeah, okay. I definitely don't mind cutting down on mana. And then... <sighs> yeah, probably Liberator, just because it also hits Animate Dead. And I, I think Ignoble might be the weak link. Okay, like not having the, the white mana? Uh, yeah, because I think, I mean, this, this looks pretty good. Pretty We're just keeping this. But, uh, the, uh, We're just keeping this. <laughs> yeah, if, if there is a game three, I think uh, just exchange uh, Ignoble because Blast is three cards and White is 900 oh. cards. Mm. Uh, I think here we're just going to go for Plateau into Deafening Silence. However, if we go Savannah, Deafening Silence, and then draw Wasteland, we can potentially Wasteland and also play Bird. I don't think you need the Plateau yet. Cool. And you still might draw a white... Uh, there, there's so many... There's three Groves in the deck, mm. so you might get your Taiga without even wanting it. That's true. And to be fair, like the extra damage from something like Dried Arbor could definitely add up. See, this is that spot where we kept in the uh, Liberator instead of Oof, and we talked about turn one Deafening Silence, they go turn one Land Pedal, and then we go Land into Oof instead. Be a little yeah. Definitely pretty funny that that came up. But definitely a little thing to think about. Because I guess uh, maybe they're trying to go Land Show and Tell next turn. So, I mean, now having Open... Blast and also sword off this land is pretty sweet. By the way, is Evoke cast? Yes. A creature? So they could theoretically evoke first and then show and tell? Yes. Okay. Pretty cool swamp. Yeah. Land. Fetch. Nice. Underground Sea? I guess they have the pedals that could just get another basic. Actually, rooting for here. Show and tell? Yeah, show and tell. Yeah. Show Looks and like tell. <laughs> Without grief first. Yes. I guess we have the swords, which is nice, but still. Here we go. Make that blue mana. Oh, three black. Rotting Regisaur? <laughs> nah, all right. That, that, they're, they're just going to right click. Uh -huh. could undo a pedal. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're trying to do here. Three black. Anybody who has that Birds of Paradise icon might be a little new to MTGO too. <laughs> Sometimes, like, I, I remember when I first was new to MTGO, I didn't know you could, like, undo adding lands. Not even, like, Lotus Pedal. I didn't know you could right-click. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What? I don't think they knew that they could undo... Hmm. Like, I think when you have that Birds of Paradise as your icon, I think you might be so new to MTGO that you just don't even know, like... Yeah, that's really interesting. If you land for Lotus Petal, you, you actually can undo Lotus Petal. That's so weird as well, then, to just not float green... Oh, sorry, blue with the Underground Sea if you're going for Show and Tell. Hmm. Yeah. That's my guess on it. Yeah. That's just my two cents. Uh, I would trade the ignoble for the bird, <laughs> unless you feel otherwise. Or not yeah. bird. Uh, yeah. Nice. But, uh, my only thought is the oof over the liberator, but I kind of like the liberator. Just because once it's in play, it just turns off animate dead as an out, which is quite nice. 
Yeah. So I think we just run this back. I think so. And just get that like green card, endurance, surgical hand. Let's go. Hmm. It is. A little bit too yeah. fair. <laughs> Pretty happy to <laughs> mulligan this. Um. Is it sucks keep or sucks mull? And I think it sucks keep. They have mull to six as well. Uh, they've now mull to five. So I think this is a keep. Uh, and I think we bottom one sword and just keep the three mana. Okay. Find that. The only disadvantage is if... Well, never mind. How did they mold a... Okay, never mind. That's how that works. I mean, what do they need? They only really need Swamp, Ritual, Entomb, something. So... Yeah. They need four cards, I think. This is a really good start for us because it means that we get to Endurance before they hand disruption. Looks like it. Huh, okay. Well, that's pretty nice. All right. Um, I think you play the canopy. Yeah. It also turns on, like, bird off the top, and then if they play a land, then we can wasteland. Yeah. What um? What's really tricky sometimes with, like, surgical or endurance, if they have a line where they can, like, with exhume on the stack, you get rid of everything, and then they entomb after that, and then get something back as well. You're like, ah! So close. Yeah. Very nice. Now, do you, do you surgically, do you reckon surgical is better here? Or endurance if they uh, exhume to get it back into play? Well, they're going to animate dead. So I think here we're just surgical. I think it's surgical. Gristle's the best, best thing they got. Nice. All right. Well, 4-1. Just pretty sweet. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, where are we? Punishing so we died to death to Doomsday. By the way, your changes for this league, two thumbs up. Glad we compromised. Yeah, it definitely lined up with the, the combo hate, which is nice. Um, and My honestly, got sharded on. didn't really need the uh, planes. Which is nice to kind of play without, which is always I mean, nice. In the... Yeah, I think uh, for those of you who hate on me, I now have the article that says Jerry T playing Punishing <laughs> Fire in the year 2011 says you don't need a planes. Planes is bad. So Jerry T in a meta that's completely different than it is now, in an article where they're mentioning so that since he's Divine Top, says you don't need it. So, it's not just me, all right? Look, a pretty terrible five chest, but worth the, uh, <laughs> the hype. Uh, yeah, list is sweet. We got the bird, that's very true. Um, but, yeah, I think, uh, the, like, the main deck is so well suited to beat some of the fair mid-range decks that having just a sideboard of combo hate lines up really well with a few kind of fair cards just to bring in against cards that aren't that great against uh, some of the, the more fair decks. But yeah, like, like it ran really smoothly. There wasn't too many times where we were really looking for mana. Maybe that game against Bant, but otherwise felt really nice. And uh, Whiskey, I'll, I'll say to, to that statement, um... I think we did pretty darn good against combo, I gotta say. Um, I think if we got paired against show and tell, we probably would have been in some trouble with this configuration, just four rebs and a prayer. Um, so I think that's partly true, but I think that's going to be true of any non-blue deck, in my opinion. Mm. Um, so I, I think you pick your lane 
and uh, I think the deck is pretty good, but I think it, I, I do kind of stand by it where there's, there's, there's no way you're going to beat Storm, Show and Tell, Reanimate, and uh, I don't know. Doomsday. Um, eight cast and Doomsday. You know, it's like you're going to fall to something. Mm. And, or, or either that or you're going to like die to elves. You know, like this, this, this would have been pretty weak to elves. You know, but if you changed some of these cards up for like more fiery justice, you would have had a good shot. Yeah, very true. Yeah. Um, uh, I like. What have you uh, been playing on stream, and how can people find you on stream? So, uh, I've been playing a list very similar, except I like Urza's Saga, so I double down on dying the combo and making sure I can beat Taxes, and that I ought to beat Delver, but I feel like I'm not beating Delver as much as I want to admit. Um, yeah, that's me. Uh, deck is awesome. I play... Uh, at about this time of day, this is about when I wrap up. Um, I get I work a nine to five. I get back at around six seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and I'm streaming, so you can check me there. I'm always playing Punishing Maverick, unless I have a guest on. Um, yeah. So uh, that's that's me. I had uh, other questions I wanted to ask, but I, I think I think I'm I'm feeling a little bit less uh, inclined to do so. I'll probably reach out to you. Uh, on Discord about it. <laughs> nice, okay. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check if... See if any nerds are online. One sec. Yeah, it looks like Punishing is playing Oops, which isn't something yeah. I like to endorse, but look, it's legacy content, so you got to do something. Yeah. But yeah, Mark, a huge thank you for coming on. Really nice to have you and really cool just to, yeah, talk about the deck and change things up before stream and see how it fares, and yeah, I was actually quite, uh, I do like Guild Mage. I think it's pretty cool to have as a Green Sun's target. Shout out to Harry. I, uh, I played the card, and it, I shit the bed with it months ago. And Harry, <laughs> uh, I think was right. It's, it's worth uh, another look. Um, nice. Well, yeah. yeah. It's good seeing you, Northern. Big fan. Hey, everybody. Um, I'll definitely speak to you soon, but a big thank you to chat as well and to Jarvis for rating the stream. Uh, I'm going to send you guys over to Punishing Waterfalls, but yeah, if you want to join the Maverick Discord, you can find Mark in there as well, which is really active, which is nice. I wish I was a bit more active in there, um, but it's always nice to see like every morning, like most of the different channels within the discord are all thriving with like new questions from players or new deck lists. So it's really cool to see players who have stuck to Maverick through like some of the harder times just to see like what sort of tech they can come up with. So yeah, big, uh, big admirer mark of you sticking out with Mav even through the hard times and obviously still getting the results, which is awesome. I appreciate it, man. You're, you're doing so much for the scene though. I gotta say, uh, you know, I know you don't always like to talk about it, but, uh, I think legacy especially is one of those niche things. So I think, um, you know, showing up and just being a viewer here and just chatting about it, contributing in your own way. You doesn't have to be financially, you know, let's keep this thing alive. We're we're all invested in this uh this cardboard thing. Uh some of us are getting older, losing our hair and becoming gray and you know, we're kind of uh as time goes by, we're gonna be the old people with cardboard. So let's keep the community strong and be nice to each other and uh stick around and, and, and try to support people who are making an effort like Romario and like punishing waterfalls. And of course, like uh dudes on Twitch. Dudes on Twitch. Love it. All right, guys, yeah. enjoy, enjoy your weekends, stay safe and I'll, uh, I'll catch you soon.